major complaint most women have is men. Men, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, honestly, relationships, stuff. relationships, <laughs> stuff. it's always men, <laughs> marriage, children, older children, in laws, poverty, okay. mm. unemployment. Mm. That I think those are basically the main and then and, grief. The, and the workplace, okay, and grief. Uh, grief. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. Let me hold you there. You two, you're a coach. What are the other things women complain about? I mean, she said mainly love. It's in love. It's love in relationships. relationships. Yeah, you know? relationships. And in finances. So being finances, not even in the fact that um, I have so much money. In the fact that I'm empowered in my financial status and I can do things. Because you know, women were nurturers. We're births. We you know we birth things. So you want to be able to see that I can do this for somebody. And it's you know, and it, it's um, it grows, you know. So we want to see things growing. Talk about love. You see, maybe as in, in coaching, you have to take responsibility for yourself. Thank love you. so, involves another person. So, it's, mm-hmm. so that's why we talk there, about right? creating happiness. So that's how I was going. Yeah. So the truth is that it has to come from within. Like I told you all before that. So what do I say with my life coaching thing is be you to the full. Whoever you are, you can do it on your own. And this my life, last um, program was tagged <coughs> inside out. Mm. breakthrough so from within you have to wash yourself clean from the inside break yourself out of that who you think you are to the real inner you and make peace with that person and of course it's a one step you know i told them about celebrating the effort yeah. you know so you take one step and celebrate oh well i did well today i didn't shout back at that person that stepped on my foot you know <laughs> and things like that so celebrate that part of you and even if okay it's even if it's in the love, so love comes in different ways because we are just saying now. If you if you can't, you can't get what you don't have. Yes. You can't give you can't what give you don't it, have yeah. as well. And even so, when you do have it, it doesn't mean you will necessarily get it. They, well, and yes, and you have to be able to accept. Like you know, it's the person. Yeah. You said it's the reaction yeah. of the person. So if that <coughs> person, are you accepting what the person is giving? So, just you know, what is that respect. It's just respect respect yourself first mm-hmm. of all. If you respect yourself, your values, you know, what are your value, values, your beliefs, and all those things, they will guide you, and you will now not take it from the next person. But you know, the all society, right. I was just gonna... this, this society, it doesn't work like that. Mm-hmm. You see, the thing I have studied is um, most people who grew up, um, uh, I think it's, um, uh, um, is it um, where you grew up, there's this thing about, especially, especially the woman, mm-hmm. she's not loved. She is, this is, this is, they've stereotyped us and says, and they say, this is what women are meant to do, to be the mothers, to clean, to cook, to do this and all that. And the women are supposed to take anything that comes to them. And I just realized that I have certain friends, their home front shows when we're all together. They have a problem complex. Okay. They can't talk out. They can't tell you their problems. They don't have people. You see, I always tell people that if you can't tell anybody, you should be able to tell your mom. Mm. And your mom can guide you. So when some people, their mothers run them down, yeah. then you have a problem. If your mom is running you down, who are you going to, who are you going to be yeah. comfortable with to talk to? And that's why I always tell women, try and have, um, go for women groups, do things that make you happy. Yes. Exactly. If if there's a dance class, I tell them to go for a walk. Uh, okay, I will tell them to go for your workshop. You know, I like to swim. Yeah. And you know, anytime I'm going to swim, everybody says, "Oh my God, with your size." Really? I said, "Excuse me." Exactly. What is your size? Like, like really? You but you see, this. the problem in this society is that people just open their mouths. Mm-hmm. Oh, don't you think you're too big? For what? Don't to you swim? take to swim? You, you, you mean that. you will fly inside so you know the river and get So the, the next thing I tell them, I will do aerobics in the pool. Yes. You don't have to swim. When I'm there, that's my happy place. So the thing now is that we now have <clears> to walk with our, what makes you happy. Yeah. You know, like, okay, girls out. Let's go and um, let's go to, uh, there's a live band. Let's go together. You don't have to go with a man. A man does not have to no, make exactly. you happy. And true. this is what I keep telling people. A man does not have to make you happy. You don't have to be married to be happy. Yes. You don't have to have kids to be happy. Yes. Because society tends to bring women who are not married, 
women who don't have kids, mm -hmm. women who don't supposedly not have money. I always tell people, I don't know what you mean by you have money. <laughs> I might not have the kind of money that you have, but I have peace. Yes, content. I'm happy. Yeah. That, that's, that's what is important. Yes, it's your content. And that's, that's it. What is and I think that's that 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 the thing about creating happiness. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. we keep telling women, look, like you said, yeah. find happiness within, within yourself. yourself. Yes. Yes. Stop searching mm -hmm. for happiness From outside yourself else. because yes. you cannot control that you person. You can't. Within. So that yeah. person can yeah. love you today and not love you tomorrow. True. Then what? But, but you, when you create happiness you within yourself, them. when you love yourself, yeah. you will always love yourself. Exactly. Yeah. Now, if, if I may come in, especially in situations where the woman is married, yeah. you know that you can be latched to a spouse that has the power to, to stop you yes. from taking joy where you find it. Yeah, manipulating. You like spouse, going for spouse. still joy. Yes. You mm -hmm. will be married to a man who says, over my dead body, body for you to be mm -hmm. seen in True. somewhere in public. Yeah. That's why you do And that's what makes first. you happy. Yes. That's what makes you feel calm. Yeah. And he will not let you do it. Yeah. Maybe you're the kind of person who, when you're really down, you know, you just want to argue with a few people on social media mm -hmm. and vent that way. And you have this spouse that has said, over my dead body for you to be on Facebook so, or Twitter. Facebook. So you see, sometimes when I hear people saying, you must find your happiness from within, within you. you cannot extract it from the other person if that person is not willing to give it. I understand what is being said, but I also know that there are people who have the power to put you in a place of misery. Yes. yes. They, and they utilize they that utilize, power yes. to the full extent that they can. Yes. Another batch of people that can make your life a living misery, usually without planning to, is your children. Mm -hmm. You can True. raise your child a certain no way, way. and your child will exhibit tendencies that you don't know where that is coming from. So because I... that's not what you gave yeah. them in the house. Exactly. Mm -hmm. The schools they went to are, are decent schools, but, like but then the school. there's this child that where, wherever think, you can find a gang of bad people, that's where the person is. Yeah, because yeah. 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 no matter how decent the school is, they are children in that school from the They will steal, they yeah. will lie. They will take substances, they will gamble, they will do this. And you didn't teach them mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. It will take a parent that is spaced out yeah. not to find misery in that. I agree with you.